What is up Ring Army? My name is Nice Dumb. Welcome back to a Sonic News video. How's quarantine life for you guys? If you guys are wondering how I'm doing in quarantine, this is how I'm doing. A magical place with magical charms. Indoors, indoors, indoors. Take it away, Penny. Today we're going to be talking about what to expect when we get the digital release of Sonic the Hedgehog and the disc version. I'm going to tell you guys what to expect right now. The bonus features on the Digital Edition 4K UHD and Blu-ray include commentary by director Jeff Fowler and the voice of Sonic, Ben Schwartz. So that means they're going to be talking over the movie while the movie is playing about what they liked about it, what they could have worked on better. The second thing we'll be expecting is Around the World in 80 Seconds, see Sonic's next adventure. So this is like a storyboard 2D cartoon that I read on Twitter. So this is not going to be like a full on animation which is kind of sad but at least it's a storyboard and we get to see more of movie Sonic. The third thing we'd be expecting is deleted scenes. Director Jeff Fowler introduces deleted scenes. So hopefully we get to see some scenes with the old design. I don't think so, but we can just pray. I want to see what they would have put in the movie, honestly, because I'm actually really curious on what they scrapped out. Fourth thing we'd be expecting is bloopers. Laugh along with Jim Carrey and the cast. I really want to see the bloopers because Jim Carrey is honestly my favorite actor in this movie besides James Marsden. Fifth thing we'd be expecting is the Speed Me Up music video. I mean, we already have it on YouTube, but maybe it's going to be a different music video. We never know. Sixth thing we'd be expecting is for the love of Sonic. Jim Carrey and the cast discuss what Sonic the Hedgehog means to them. I actually want to know how Jim Carrey feels about Sonic and the redesign because I know Jim Carrey had some beef with the redesign but hey that's on him. And I want to see everybody else talking about how the movie is great and how it worked on it, how it turned out. And I actually want to know what they feel about the old design before they changed Sonic because I'm actually curious. The seventh thing we'll be expecting is building Robonic with Jim Carrey. See Jim Carrey bring supervillain Dr. Robonic to life. I want to see how Jim Carrey actually got the role and how he talks about being Dr. Robonic and how it brings out the Jim Carrey character. Eighth thing we'll be expecting is the blue blur. Origins of Sonic. Explore the origins of the legendary Blue Blur. So this means we're gonna get maybe, hopefully get more footage of Baby Sonic to see what his backstory is on how he end up on Green Hill Zone with Longclaw. Cause we only got like about 3 minutes of Longclaw and Baby Sonic in the beginning of the movie. And the final thing we're gonna be expecting is Sonic on set. Visit the set with the voice of Sonic Ben Schwartz. Okay, so I really want to see behind the scenes of Ben Schwartz talking and acting as Sonic. And I also want to see the props they use for Sonic and the redesign. I don't want to see any of these statues or things again. Like, no, this is too creepy. And that's all we're going to be expecting in the bonus features of the Sonic movie. That's all for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoy. Leave a like if you did. If you guys are new here, subscribe to join the Ring Army. Over 95% of you guys are not subscribed who watches my videos. So I really appreciate if you guys can subscribe or else this baby Sonic should come after you and watch you sleep and crawl up in your bed while staring at you all night long. So I recommend you subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here to join the Ring Army. My name is Nice, and I'll see you guys next time. I see i